Creative Mining here, and today I will be going over this article that I thought was pretty interesting. As I'm sure you guys know, we've been seeing a lot of noise about the ETFs, whether it's from the Bitcoin ETF that came out earlier this year, back in January, I believe. Then we had the Ethereum ETFs that launched this summer with the approval of the SEC. But now it seems like there may be the possibility of a Solana ETF. The only difference is that instead of the United States, this seems to be done within Brazil. So I thought this was pretty interesting to take a look at. So let's start reading according to actually let me read the title Brazil poised to launch world's first spot Solana ETF ahead of global markets. According to IBM's former blockchain growth lead, a potential Solana ETF approval in the US could act as a significant price catalyst for Sol. The first Solana spot exchange traded fund could officially debut for trading on the Brazilian stock exchange ahead of all the other global jurisdictions. The first spot Solana ETF is currently awaiting approval by the Brazilian stock exchange B3 after it was reportedly approved by Brazil's Securities and Exchange Commission CVM on August 7th. According to Manthan Dave, the co-founder of Palisade, a Ripple-backed digital asset custody platform the development could inspire the world's largest economy to explore Solana-based ETFs in the future. The co-founder told Cointelegraph, Brazil has been one of the pro-crypto jurisdictions since they introduced the Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs years before the United States did. It has also kept up with Europe's friendly stance with respect to its ETPs. We first saw the Solana ETP in Switzerland some time ago. It has also been trading in the German markets. People in the US have been asking for a Solana ETF and now they might get it. ETF inflows can significantly contribute to a cryptocurrency's price appreciation. For Bitcoin, right now Bitcoin is at $64,417. ETFs accounted for about 75% of new investment in the cryptocurrency market by February 15th, as it surpassed the $50,000 mark. Will we see a Solana ETF in the U.S. before the elections? However, the most important question is whether we'll see a U.S. Solana ETF before the 2024 presidential election, explained Dave. Considering the current election season and the prevailing sentiment, it is likely that we will see the approval of Solana ETFs before the end of this year. The key question is whether this will happen before or after the elections. With the Republicans currently seen as pro-crypto, approval before the election could significantly influence market sentiment. However, the U.S. is unlikely to immediately follow suit since Bitcoin ETFs have been in the pipeline for years before the formal approval, according to Alejo Pinto, former IBM blockchain growth lead and founder of Solana Layer 2 network, Lumio. Due to the unlikely prospect of an incoming U.S. Solana ETF, a potential approval would make it a strong price catalyst for Sol, explained Pinto. Since it is still very uncertain, an ETF approval in the United States would have a positive price impact on Solana since the probability is low and therefore not yet priced in. Solana price to $200. Yeah, that's part of the article. Solana price to $200 as the ma next major target. Solana's next major target could be the $200 psychological mark, according to a bullish pennant. On the four hour chart shared by crypto trader Satoshi Flipper in an August 7th post. So, this is actually an old article, so I apologize. However, Solana price has been trading close to $145 for the past 
for nearly six months and it is unable to stage a significant breakout. Solana has hit an all time high of six cents against Ether price on August 7th. I don't understand that part. Yet Solana's price remains 41% away from its old all time high of $259, which it reached three years ago in November 2021. So, like I've always said with the ETFs, they're great for retail adoption at a much larger scale. My only issue with them is that I don't understand how that inflow of money is supposed to cross between two completely different markets. Because at the end of the day, even though it's a crypto ETF, it's still an ETF in stocks. So it's not like hypothetically in the world of crypto, if Solana's market cap were to increase from all the extra liquidity, then that flow of money would trickle into the Solana altcoins because that liquidity is confined to the boundaries of that specific market. So my question with these ETFs has always been, how does that flow of money cross between those different market boundaries? That's the only concept that I'm struggling to understand with these ETFs. It might be more of a pedantic question because either way it goes, it's still extremely bullish for crypto. So I don't necessarily need to understand it at that level, but it is a good thought experiment. But I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys also have similar questions about the ETFs or do you have the same position as I do? Let me know in the comment section below. Creative Mining out.